Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Electronics Pedia. Today in this video, I am going to explain about the FIFO depth calculation. In my one of my previous video, I have explained about the FIFO basics. If you haven't watched that video, please go and check it out. I have given the link in the description box or also you can click on the i button above. So uh, let me explain what is uh, FIFO quickly. So FIFO is a storage element where it's going to store the data that you are uh, writing. So basically if the you know uh, if there is a difference in the frequencies of the write and the read domain so then you need a FIFO or else uh, it, it could be because of the uh, you know if the FIFO is um, uh, writing or reading at the different uh, data rate intervals then also you do you need a FIFO. So let's understand how the FIFO depth is calculated. So it's, uh, it's a basically it's a very easy uh, thing it, it's not like a diff uh, difficult uh, concept or you don't have to remember any of the formulas it's just like you know 10th class uh, you know uh, mathematics so i'll, exp uh, I'll just uh, take an example the first oh, let me take the case one so it's uh, uh, it's no idle cycles so uh, the first you know the right frequency is assume it's 100 megahertz and uh, uh, let's do the calculation over here for the read uh, the read frequency is you know uh, it's a uh, 50 megahertz and uh, we want to transfer uh, data which is of uh, 100 bytes of data we want to transfer okay so uh, for the any FIFO the FIFO cannot be like an infinite depth. It has to be some realistic number because you have to interpret that in a hardware. So uh, assume if the FIFO write is 100 megahertz and the read is uh, 50 megahertz and uh, you want to do a un, you know, continuous uh, chunks of data transfer, then it is not possible because it has to be something uh, confined or a bounded one. So then th that's why the, that's the reason like, you know, I'm just taking example of 100 bytes of the data to be transferred. So this is what we call, we call it as a, you know, bust. Uh, length bus length okay so this is the length of 100 bytes of data that we are transferring okay so now um, so what we will do is first we have to calculate um, in order to you know uh, you know one clock cycle so basically this is 100 megahertz so in one clock cycle okay okay uh, uh, in one clock cycle so we are going to transfer a uh, one bytes of data so that means we need a 100 uh, clock cycle to transfer 100 bytes okay so uh, in one okay uh, so time taken so basically the time taken here time taken for one write so how do we calculate this is basically uh, one over 100 megahertz okay so that is uh, it's a 10 nanosecond so in order to transfer okay uh, 100 bytes of data okay 100 bytes of data you need 100 into 10 so that's equals to 1000 nanosecond okay similarly now uh, let's take a read side so in a read side you are going to read one data um, on a 50 megahertz uh, clock so that means time taken to read time taken for one read is equals to 1 over 50 megahertz so that's equals to um, it's a 20 nanosecond yeah. okay that's 20 nanosecond so that means okay so here in 1000 nanosecond you are going to write 100 bytes of data and uh, in one uh, 20 nanosecond you are going to read one uh, day, one bytes of data so that means um, time taken for for 100 bytes of read okay 100 bytes of uh, read so which is equals to here 1000 nanosecond that's the time taken for the write that divided by 20 nanosecond so equals to 50 okay um, this is the uh, uh, so in sorry it's uh, this is the how many bytes you are going to read this is a how many bytes you are going to read how many in uh, in that means in uh, 1000 nanosecond you are going to read 50 bytes of data so that means what is my depth so basically the, the depth is 
So in um, 1000 nanosecond, you are going to write 100 bytes, but in the same 1000 nanosecond, you are going to read uh, only the 50. So that means this is 100 minus 50, which is equals to 50, which is, is your depth of the FIFO. Okay, this is the depth of the FIFO. So here in this case, we have considered it as a I don't know idle cycle. So what is idle cycle? Idle cycle is bit is the nothing but like you know between the two writes consecutive writes or reads there is no you know bubble or there is no clock cycle that is wasted. So that's why we are going uh, mentioning as a no idle cycle. So there could be a case where you know uh, there can, there can be a um, you know idle cycles between the writes or the reads. So in, uh, in my next examples, I'm going to explain with the idle cycle. So let's uh, understand that as well. So this is the second example. Here I'm considering one ideal cycle between the right and three ideal cycle between the reads. So, uh, so basically, if you see, uh, if I see this, uh, draw it as a clock, so, you know, in terms of the waveform. Okay. So now, here one ideal cycle between the right. So assume I am writing it over here in this clock cycle, and this is my ideal cycle. So again, this is my right, and this is my read. Sorry, this is my idle. So basically, if you observe. So what we are essentially taking, so in order to transfer one, uh, you know, bytes of data, we are essentially taking two clock cycles, okay, because there is an idle between the one write to the next write, okay, this is a two clock cycle. Similarly, for the read, what we are doing, uh, this is my, no, uh, first read has happened over here, and then we are uh, three clock cycle idle, okay, so here, this is idle, this is idle, and this is idle. Okay, and then again we are doing a read. So here, if you see, so here it is a four clock cycle. Okay, so for one uh, read we are taking a four clock cycle. So uh, in this example, so again we are uh, going it with the same frequency, uh, 100 megahertz on the right, and uh, read it's a 50 megahertz. So now um, it's the same calculations. Okay, so now for the time, uh, this is a in. Uh, uh, one, uh, time taken for one write, okay. Time for uh, one uh, write, it's equals to one over hundred, which is equals to ten nanosecond, okay. Uh, but here, what we are doing is here um, we are taking uh, two clock cycles, so that's why we have to multiply it with a two, so that is equals to twenty nanosecond. Now, uh, so in uh, for the hundred bytes, okay, hundred bytes of uh, transfer data transfer. So we'll be taking 100 into 200, so 20 nanosecond. So that becomes 2000 nanosecond. Okay. And now similarly for the read. For the read, how much you are taking? So 1 over 50 into here. It's a four clock cycle. So that becomes uh, 20 into 40. Uh, it's a uh, yeah, 80 nanoseconds you are taking. Okay. So 89 seconds, you will take it for, you know, for one read. So that means in uh, 2000 uh, nanosecond, so you are going to, how much you are going to read? It's a, uh, so 25, okay. So you are going to get the full phase. So that means uh, when there is a, uh, for the FIFO depth, okay. So the, for the FIFO depth, so you need how much? So in uh, 2000 nanosecond, uh, you are going to write a 100 bytes, but whereas in the uh, same 2000 nanosecond, you are going to read only 25. So that means it's a 100 minus 25, which is equals to 75. So this is the depth of the FIFO. So you need a 75 deep FIFO in order to, uh, you know, um, uh, fix this uh, or, the, uh, you know, uh, to have a safe data transfer when there is a one idle cycle between the writes and three idle cycle between the reads. Okay. So uh, there are, uh, you know, we can tweak this also, like, you know, we can exchange the read frequency and the write frequency, and then also we can calculate. So uh, here I have not considered any randomization. Okay, so what do you mean by randomization? Randomization is basically uh, if the data rate is uh, different, like, you know, if they assume that, you know, in a, uh, uh, like, you know, in a 10 clock cycle, you are transferring eight bits of data, and then uh, next uh, few clock cycles, it might be idle kind of thing. So all of those scenarios are not taken, but this is simple, you know, um, one idle cycle between the rights and uh, three idle cycle between the rights. I hope this is information is, uh, you know, clear. 
uh, in the in my next uh, video i'll explain along with the you know uh, randomization of the data so then that is like you know most uh, commonly asked interview question so even i faced in my uh, you know when i was giving job interviews and also that that time i also faced this kind of uh, questions so i'll explain that also in my next video uh, and uh, please do let me know if you have any queries in the comment section i'll be happy to help thank you